The pipeline fight continues. Native Americans took their case to Capitol Hill today. Congressman Raul Grijalva, he chaired a Democratic hearing to understand the grievances of the tribes in North Dakota fighting the Dakota Access Pipeline. It was a packed room with emotional testimony as the Congressional Committee heard from Native Americans and how they feel their rights have been trampled on through this process. Chief of the Standing Rock Reservation just returned from Geneva pleading the case that this is no longer a national issue, this is no longer a Standing Rock issue, this is indigenous peoples around the world share um, constant abuse from corporations and from governments. And uh, they have indigenous lands and they have indigenous rights and we're, we're, we're building awareness and it's a movement that's arising uh, in indigenous people. And uh, it's, it's encouraging to see that uh, that was the most uh, productive thing that I've seen where countries around the world are starting to realize that it's time to take a look at what's really happening. Congressional members told me after the hearing this process has been flawed from the start and it follows a sad pattern by our government. I think the problem here is that, you know, the federal government and certainly the state governments have simply ignored um, their sovereign rights. I mean, they're just, you know, building these pipelines and not really consulting with them or give them any authority to where this is cited. Are you encouraged that the Obama administration is more involved now? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I understand that the majority of the pipeline has been built, but there's still other areas that ha where it hasn't been. And so this pause that President Obama has given them and, you know, saying that the Army Corps and the EPA are going to take another look at this, I think is very helpful. I think it's very important for us to hear the Native American voices from the sovereign nations that are directly impacted by the pipeline and just to hear how it treads over really everything that they hold sacred, uh, their lands, uh, their sacred waters, their ancestors' graves in some cases. It's really dismal that none of that was part of the review process. Why is it hard for people on Capitol Hill to grasp that? Well, you know, that's another example of the Republican majority failing to even hold a hearing on this. That's why we uh, Democrats scheduled this ad hoc hearing to give voice to uh, Native American communities and the people whose land this affects. But uh, the official committees of Congress haven't even held a hearing on it. What are the chances of stopping it in your estimation? Well, uh, as you know, President Obama uh, hopefully will be good to his word to help address some of these issues. We have a bill, Representative Grijalv and I, we've circulated a letter. We're doing everything we can. I think, uh, of course, we did successfully stop the Keystone Excel pipeline. Uh, this one is even worse infringement of tribal sovereignty in our environment.